Okay, good afternoon, everyone. First, let me introduce the case. This is a 69 years old female patient, and she was admitted to our hospital two days ago. After admission, the condition of the patient progressed very rapidly. Now the patient has severe respiratory failure. The uh, <coughs> oxygen saturation is dropped to only 88%. When he breaths under mask oxygen inhalation about 10 meters. And the lab test showed that the uh, lymphocyte decreased quickly. And the measure of the, in the CT scan showed that it uh, progressed uh, very, very rapidly. The <coughs> liver function showed that the ART and ASD increased two times, and the uh, LDH and the CK increased about 20 times. And the demo increased uh, slightly, uh, slightly, and the urine nitrogen and uric acid decreased slightly. Uh, the uh, inflammation mediator, such as interleukin 6 and the CRP, increased about 20 times. Uh, and the uh, visual, uh, the, the SARS CoV 2 visual uh, RNA were positive. Other passengers, such as uh, this very virus uh, influenza A and influenza B, is all negative. The fungus is also negative. Uh, other uh, passengers, such as uh, bacteria or microplasma, is also were also negative. So the diagnosis of the patient is very clear. Uh, but the patient has several uh, several uh, this very, uh, failure compared with uh, much organ injury. So it's a very simple cases. Uh, for that patient, I think the cytokine storm induced by the viral uh, infection is the uh, important trigger. So I suggest adding a glucocorticoid for that patient to current the uh, treatment. Uh, yeah, I, I heard we uh, with you to uh, use the glucocorticoid to this patient. Uh, because um, as uh, just now Dr. Wang said, our patient has uh, progressed uh, Rapidly in the last three days, uh, the CRP, the IL6 uh, increased the significantly. The non lesions progressed rapidly, and the SL2 is less than ninety percent almost the time. So our case is a severe case, and for the glucocorticoid, we can use uh, messy prednisone, and the dose is based on uh, two microgram per kilogram per day, and the weight is 16 kilograms. So I think that also we can choose, we can use 40 micrograms PID. I agree. However, a large dose of glucocorticoid mm -hmm. will delay the removal of, of the colorant virus due to immunosuppressive effects. So how long should we use mesoprep nisolone? Uh, yeah, how long is the big problem uh, for use these drugs? And really, it always recommended uh, for a short time for this drug. It's almost uh, recommended three to five days uh, because uh, yeah, they use the prednisone, and they use the glucocorticoid um, has that effect to the patient. But at the same time, when we think about the organ damage by the virus, by the cytokine storm, uh, we use the glucocorticoid can interrupt this second storm. So we use it and we will reduce the dose or even stop quickly. The respiratory treatment to show some hypoxia cannot improve after months of oxygen utilization. Uh, the oxygenal uh, index is about 100 and CO2 is only 90%. And the brace rate is 25 to 30 times per minute. Should we use emission or non-emission intuition? I tend to use high flow nether tester oxygenation than non-invasive ventilation because it is more comfortable and more tolerable. Additionally, it does not influence the eating and the sputum excretion. But, but we must uh, measure the condition may get worse in a short time. So the, the tracheal intubation and uh, invasive uh, mechanical ventilation 
should be used in time. Okay. Uh, another thing for that patient is that the patient has uh, irritable for the past two days in the hospital and had a bad cooperation with doctors. So maybe we need to pay attention to the psychological problem with that patient and help the patient to rebuild the confidence to overcome the disease. Yes, the social and the family support of the patient is very poor. As far as I know, her family has suffered a trauma in the recent years. Three years ago, her daughter died of a new coma, and uh, one year ago, her husband died of a heart disease. And uh, uh, two months ago, the patient himself suffered from a bone fraction, and, fraction, and uh, uh, now he's living alone. After admitting the patient, sometimes he just, uh, refused to eat, and sometimes he uh, blew the uh, oxygen tube. So I think we should give her more psychological support. If necessary, maybe we should ask the help from the psychologist or psychological doctor. Yeah, I agree that if the patient's psychological condition was not improved, it will greatly affect our treatment. And, with, uh, and the patient uh, condition will get worse and worse. On the other hand, nutritional support is also very important. As Professor Wang mentioned about the patient refused to eat, mm -hmm. and her laboratory result indicated that she is in a negative balance of nutrition. If she still refused to use, a uh, gastric tube may be needed for her. I agree with you. For, uh, for, in for infection disease, uh, treatment for antigens is uh, also uh, critical. Uh, An epidural can inhibit SARS-CoV-2 in vitro, so I think the epidural is worth trying. Yeah, uh, I think so. The adverse uh, of epidural was minor, and uh, most patients can tolerate very well. And the other drugs we can think about is the uh, never, uh, little never, uh, it was reported may uh, be effective against the, the SARS-CoV-2. But at the same time, we must think about the side effect of these drugs. Because some patients had, had uh, very severe side effects, such as uh, nausea and vomiting after the So uh, uh, I don't think it is a good choice for our patients. The patient's dilemma and the FDP are elevated as, uh, as she lay in bed for more than three days. I think we should pay more attention about thrombosis, especially people with thrombosis. Use broadly lactic cream for ankle aggression? Yeah, I think so. Mm, the usual of the non of the patient will progress very quickly. And now we will be, uh, we will use the uh, glucocorticoid. So I think we must pay attention of a secondary infection, such as a bacterial infection. Yes, that's another important thing we must think about. I agree to add antibiotics to the patient. Uh, besides, uh, we should monitor the water and uh, electrolyte balance to maintain the internal environment stability. Uh, to the patient, and at the same time, I think uh, we must ensure we must monitor uh, the vital signs and the oxygen saturation for this patient. That is also important. Yeah.